All right, number four is uh, beam characteristics in regards to quality versus quantity of the x-ray beam. Um, it can be described as quality and quantity. Um, quality refers to the energy of the x-ray photons. It's the ability of the x-ray beam to penetrate the part. And KVP determines the quality or energy of your x-ray beam. So however high or low you set your KVP is going to determine the energy or penetrability of your x-ray beam. The higher the KVP, the higher the quality of the beam. Quantity refers to the number of x-ray photons, and that is determined by your MAS. So MAS determines quantity, which is the number of photons. If you use higher MA, higher the quantity. I think of <laughs> MA uh, as money, and if I have more money, I can buy more quantity of things. So if, I ha if my patient has more mass surrounding their knee, I'm going to need to use more mass to penetrate it properly, right? Um, or to get the quality image and not get any image noise. So quantity is number, and that's going to be your MA. Quality is energy, and that's going to be your KVP. Premnet, uh, primary versus remnant beam. Uh, the primary beam is the beam that's produced in the tube and um, the x-ray beam that strikes the patient. It can be either Bremsstrahlung or characteristic, or both. The remnant beam is what remnant means remaining. So it's the beam that passes through the patient and remains after exiting the patient and strikes the image receptor. It can be made up of both primary and secondary radiation.